This is John. Welcome to Seriously Read a Book. Today we are going to read National Geographic's kids, Little Kids' First Big Book of Space. And who is the camera person today but... Rose! Rose! Rose is doing camera today. And um, we're just going to read the first three pages of of chapter one because today is a total solar eclipse here in South Carolina and so what makes a total solar eclipse happen is that the moon gets right in between what Rose? The Sun and the Earth and the Earth and what does it block out? Uh, the middle of the Sun the middle and of it's halfway there it's almost there right all right so this is what the Sun usually looks like so this is the Sun this is the looking up from the Earth section so the sun is a star. It's the closest star to Earth, the planet you live on. The sun is very hot. Its warmth and light keep plants and animals on Earth alive, including you. Hey Rose, can you feel how there's less light right now? Yeah. Yeah, because right now the moon is, is like, it's more than halfway covered the sun. So it's darker out here right now than it was when we got here. So a little bit cooler too, right? Yeah, yeah. it's actually a little cold. Yeah, and it's a hot summer day, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> So the sun, planets, moons, and different kinds of space rocks are all part of our solar system. The sun is at the center of the solar system. If you could drive to the sun in a car, it would take more than 170 years to get there. That's how far away it is. So the Earth travels around the sun in a big circle called an orbit. It takes a whole year for the Earth to travel all the way around the sun. A year on the Earth is the time it takes for the Earth to orbit the sun, to go all the way around. How many times have you been all the way around the sun? How many times have you been all the way around the sun, Rose? Eight and a half. Eight and a half times? Whoa, there goes a big log truck. We are in a town called, where in South Carolina? Joanna. Joanna. We're in Joanna, South Carolina. All right, eight big planets orbit the sun, including Earth. Ooh, there's the sun. That's how big the Earth is. Compared, to, Compared the to the sun, it is tiny. It says that more than a million Earths could fit inside the sun. The sun is huge. Even though if you look at it with um, solar eclipse glasses, it looks like a marble. It looks like a marble, right? It looks about the same size as the moon, right? Yeah, Which that. is even smaller than the Earth. Whoa! Yeah, it's starting to get covered up. We have, we have po possible clouds covering. Uh-oh. Hiding behind a cloud right now. No! <laughs> so I'm going to read quickly. So during the day, the place where you see the sun changes. In the morning, the sun comes up. This is sunrise. When dark nighttime turns into bright daytime, you'll always see the sunrise in the direction called east. By lunchtime, the sun is high up in the sky. Do not look directly at the sun. It is so bright that it can hurt your eyes. Oh, and uh, if you're going to watch a solar eclipse, we have special... Do you want to hold it out in front of the camera, Rose? Special solar eclipse glasses. Yay! Yeah, but you have to make sure to wear the right ones, because if you don't wear the right ones, eek, because you're looking straight at the sun. Here we go. In the late afternoon, the sun is low in the sky. Soon it is sunset as the sun disappears from sight. Then it is nighttime again. Sunset is always in the direction called west. And then you have the earth section. Most of the earth is covered by oceans. The blue areas are water. And there's the moon. The Earth is the fifth largest planet in the solar system. So a planet is a big round object in space that orbits a star. Earth is your home. As long as you are watching this on the planet Earth. What? And not on like Mars or the moon or something. Who knows? Who knows who will watch this video in the future? The sun is your star. Earth is always moving. As it orbits the sun, it also spins around like a top. Earth spins at a thousand miles an hour. It's amazing. Earth is the third planet in orbit around the sun. When you spin around on your feet, you probably get dizzy, but you cannot feel the Earth spin, but you're moving at like a thousand miles an hour. During the day, it is light outside and you can see the sun. As Earth spins, the place where you are on the planet turns away from the sun. That's when it gets dark outside, when you're on the other side. Like the sun's, o sun's over here and the Earth's over here, but you're over here. Yeah, what's up, I Sophie? know how the, um, moon is shown as like a crescent a full and a half and all that stuff yep it's because whenever how however much of the sun shines on the moon we see that's right yeah right so sometimes sometimes like the sun could be shining on like the side of the moon right and you it would could, see a crescent and you right and you would see a crescent or a half moon 
That's right, totally. Yummy. <laughs> you like half moon cookies, don't you? <laughs> yes, vanilla and chocolate. They are very yummy. Oh, when it's winter where you live, your part of the earth is tilted away from the sun. When it's summer where you live, your part of the earth is tilted toward the sun. Very important. And then we have various things here about jumping. The, gra the force that pulls you back down to the earth is called... Gravity! Gravity! Can you jump up five times in a row to show that gravity works every time? Feel free. That's the sound of Rose jumping five times. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it's the strong invisible force that pulls everything on Earth down. It keeps you and all the things around you from floating up into the sky. Earth is a special planet. It's the only place we know of where there is life. Plants and animals, including people. The jaguar is one of the many kinds of animals that live on planet Earth. Rose likes jaguars, don't you? Jaguar! Yeah, big cats. Now here's the moon. So this is what's going to get in between the Earth and the sun today, right? And it's almost done. It's almost done. It's totally almost done. You can often spot Earth's moon when you look into the sky at night. The moon orbits Earth just like the Earth orbits the sun. The moon is rocky and cold. Facts. Here is the Earth. There's the moon. That's the difference in size. Oh, it's so tiny. It's a little bitty, right? Uh, the place in space, in orbit around the Earth. How far away? It takes about three days for a spaceship to get there. So the moon looks bright, but it is actually a dark place. It looks bright only when, like what you're talking about, Rose, only when the sun's light reflects or bounces off its surface. Tot oh, there you go. You got the crescent moon, first quarter moon, a gibbous moon. Gibbous moon. I probably mispronounced that. Check me. Feel free to comment, anyone who wants to comment on my mispronunciation. Mm -hmm. And that's the full moon. The same side of the moon always faces the Earth. Which phase of the moon is your favorite? What, what's yours, Rose? Full moon! Full moon! How about you guys? You have a favorite one? Alright, sometimes the moon has the shape of a banana. It's the crescent moon. Sometimes it looks like half a circle. It's a first quarter moon. So the shape of the moon you see changes. These changes are called the phases of the moon. The phases change as the moon orbits the Earth. There are times when the moon looks almost like a full circle. About once a month, it looks like a bright round ball, and that's the full moon. Ooh, a moon lander. Yep, people have visited the moon, uh, carried astronauts to the surface of the moon from a bigger spacecraft that stayed in orbit. So the only place in space on which people have landed is the moon. Before you were born, astronauts, people who travel into space, visited the moon. Astronauts landed on the moon six times. You can see where in this picture. That's where they landed. All on this side, right? Yeah. I don't see any on the dark side of the moon. It looks like the first one was kind of at the edge of where we can see the moon. Yeah. Hmm. And then the second and the, kind of in the last I wonder part. if one of them was on the dark side of the moon. I'm not sure. It's a good question. Any of you know? if they always landed on the side of the moon that you can see from Earth, or if any of these landing spots are on the other side of the moon? I don't know the answer. Feel free to comment. All right, Earth is surrounded by air called the atmosphere. The moon has no atmosphere. An astronaut on the moon must wear a spacesuit. The spacesuit has air to breathe. It also keeps the astronaut warm. Some astronauts who visited the moon also had a moon buggy. Check that out. Would you like to drive that, Rose? Yes. Would you all like to drive a moon buggy on the moon? It's called a Lunar Roving Vehicle. And y'all, that's it for today. So this was the, the little kid's first big book of space. Hope y'all had a great time. Um, we're gonna watch the eclipse now. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe, click the bell, and we will see you next time on Seriously Read a Book. Wanna say bye, Rose? Bye. Bye. Oh wow. Over my, over this, like, this light over my eye. Oh my, it's about to go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Ah, it's almost night It's like night time. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Whoa. 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 Whoa, look, look at it without the glasses.
Just for just for just for a second. Just like look up there just for a second. Good that it's behind the clouds. How cool is that? <laughs>